Glucosamine supplementation continues to be a hotly debated item. However, there are some surprises in glucosamine that are being shown to have some very positive effects on people outside the realm of how we normally relate glucosamine products to be as far as benefiting joints, arthritis, or things along those lines. Glucosamine has been shown to significantly reduce certain things like C-reactive protein, as well as, at least in animal studies, extend lifespan by mimicking the effect of a low carbohydrate diet. Things you normally wouldn't relate to glucosamine itself, but however though, science is unveiling. But in that case, let's look at one particular study that was just recently released uh, this May 2019, or should we say April 2019, in regard to glucosamine and cardiovascular disease and how effectively it reduced it. So with that in mind, let's get into, right into the research as follows. This is the public research. Glucosamine supplements may be linked to a lower risk of cardiovascular disease, but I want us to look at the full published study. It's a little bit more detailed and technical. However, though, it has a better intro. And also keep in mind too, before we go much further, the researchers themselves look like they took into account other biases or other confounding factors that may tend to muddy the results. So it looks like a pretty valid study, at least from an observational standpoint. But to proceed as follows into the full published study, glucosamine is a non-vitamin, non-mineral supplement widely used to relieve osteoarthritis and joint pain. Glucosamine is closely regulated in most European countries where it's only sold with a prescription. However, in other countries such as the United States and Australia, it is a popular dietary supplement and approximately 20% of adults consume it daily. The effectiveness of glucosamine in patients with osteoarthritis and joint pain continues to be debated. Emerging evidence from epidemiological studies suggests that glucosamine could have a role in preventing cardiovascular disease and reducing mortality. A previous animal study reported that glucosamine extended lifespan by mimicking a low carbohydrate diet. And studies in humans have consistently shown the protective effect of a low carbohydrate diet on the development of cardiovascular disease. See so how they draw in the correlation there. Other animal studies have reported that the anti inflammatory properties of glucosamine may have prevented a role in arterial sclerosis, arterial sclerosis development. In this perspective, cohort study, quoting the researchers, we examine the association between habitual glucosamine supplement use and the risk of cardiovascular disease in nearly half a million adults in the UK biobank, about 466,000 to be more approximate. We, in quoting, also analyze potential effect modification by other known risk factors for cardiovascular disease. All right, let's pull away from the full published study and let's go into the public press release because this concludes it quite well. The researchers found that glucosamine use was associated with a 15% lower risk of total cardiovascular disease and a 9 to 22% lower risk of coronary heart disease, stroke, and cardiovascular disease death compared with no use. These favorable associations remained after taking into account traditional risk factors including age, sex, BMI, ethnicity, lifestyle, diet, medication, and other supplement use. The association between glucosamine use and coronary heart disease was also stronger in current, current smokers. The operative word there is current, with a 37% lower risk compared with those that never smoked at 12% and former smokers at 18%. Several mechanisms may explain these results, quoting the authors, for example, regular use of glucosamine has been linked to a reduction in levels of C-reactive protein, a chemical associated with inflammation. This may also explain the strong association among smokers who have higher levels of inflammation and higher risk factors of cardiovascular disease than non-smokers. In addition, previous data suggests that glucosamine may mimic a low carbohydrate diet, which is still part of what I find fascinating, which has been inversely associated with the development of cardiovascular disease, as well as other ailments. Despite the large sample size, this is an observational study and as such can't establish cause. And the research points to some limitations such as lack of information on dose, duration, and side effects of glucosamine use. However, regular glucosamine use may also be a marker for a healthy lifestyle, they add, but this is unlikely to have affected the results. I know a lot of you are thinking, well, healthy user effect right off the bat. But again, as they claim, may not impact the results at all. So, 
quite fascinating altogether. It looks like cocosamine may have some unintended benefits beyond that of joints, arthritis, so on and so forth, such as reduction of C-reactive protein, and if the animal models or the animal studies uh, equate to what happens in humans, mimicking the effect of a low carbohydrate diet in reduction of disease, uh, I would just say disease propagation. However, still incredibly, incredibly, incredibly fascinating. Hope to see further research done either to determine a cause as opposed to a correlation in regard to observation, double blind studies, something along those lines would be incredible. Again, for those taking glucosamine, a pretty cool benefit altogether, a reduction of cardiovascular disease. Unintended by many, but still yet that benefit exists. Hope you find this information of use. Thank you very much for listening as always. and look forward to see you all once again in the next seven days. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye. Uh, before we go, DOI citation and link to the full published study will be there as well. And that's important. So at least you can validate the information on your own, and not just have to take my word for it. Catch you guys in a bit. Bye.